PropTech 2022. It was basically to mainstream PropTech in the African region. A mix of real estate professionals across the value chain and the young tech startups who are building solutions across the real estate value chain. Alpha One, which is Eco Atlantic's first great office building, secured the second EDGE certification in Lagos today. The certification, which is given by the IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, shows our dedication to being the first green city in Nigeria. PropTech bridges the gap between technology innovation and the real estate sector. It's changing the way we buy, rent, sell, design, construct and manage our properties. PropTech is key to unlocking Africa's new era and at the heart of this is Nigeria. With over 90 active tech hubs, it's the largest ecosystem in Africa today. Today in Nigeria, 50% of the young and vibrant population live within cities and this urban population is expected to double in the next two decades. Ensuring these cities are built sustainably is crucial to our future generations, and PropTech and sustainability go hand in hand in achieving this. Along the coast of Lagos City lies Echo Atlantic, a city within a city being built on land reclaimed from the ocean. Echo Atlantic is poised to be the financial capital of Africa, but not only this, our goal is to become one of the green cities across the world, alongside Austria and Vienna. We are creating a sustainable city built for the 21st century that can compete on a global level. Nigeria faces several unique challenges, and as such, a green tech agenda seems very difficult. Partnerships between the public and private sector are crucial for improving the quality of life for the average Nigerian. On the most fundamental level, the access to internet is required to advance technology. And as such, at Echo Atlantic, we'll be offering citywide fiber optic. At Echo Atlantic, we take on sustainability at every stage of development. In 2010, we grew over 200,000 trees. We are implementing efficient waste disposal systems, which curb the urban decay we see a lot around Nigeria today. We are cutting down on building energy and water consumption and we're also lowering greenhouse gas emissions. The city which is providing independent power supply is also looking at implementing solar power to reduce our emissions. This also helps bring energy independence, affordability, and improve air quality within the city. The city which at its core has already overcome 100 years of coastal erosion, wants to take on the challenges of cities across the world. For example, congestion. In Echo Atlantic, we opted to use roundabouts to ensure efficient flow of traffic. Our smart city planning also ensures all neighborhoods are connected to transportation links. And all of our roads are built using interlocking paving stones, which do not absorb energy from the sun, actually reducing the temperature of the city. Echo Atlantic's infrastructure network makes it the most technically advanced city in Nigeria today. The Great Wall of Lagos is an eight and a half sea revetment wall, protecting Victoria Island and Lekki from the Atlantic Ocean. A team of expert consultants were brought worldwide to divide it as a sustainable piece of infrastructure. Precise scale modeling was used to test its durability against storms across the next 1,000 years and GPS systems are also included in our excavators to ensure precise, accurate deploration of the stones to create the base of the wall. So you can see how PropTech is already infiltrating the construction industry, not just in Nigeria, but also in Echo Atlantic. We also have citywide planning regulations that ensure we're using environmentally friendly and sustainable materials throughout the city. For example, LED lighting is used throughout the city, drastically re reducing our energy consumption in lighting our road network. Alpha One, which is Echo Atlantic's first great office building, secured the second EDGE certification in Lagos today. The certification, which is given by the IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, shows our dedication to being the first green city in Nigeria. We also use PropTech to give 
adaptability to our end users and developers. As you may know, 10% of hospitality revenues was lost to Airbnb. Our developers in Echo Atlantic, as far back as 2016, have been using online platforms to shortlet their apartments and rent their apartments and also market their apartments online or properties online. Tech is also pushing financial inclusion with online platforms allowing tenants to rent monthly as opposed to the usual annual payments in Nigeria today. And lastly, we can't talk about prop tech without talking about big data. Big data is affecting how we make decisions in the C-suite of our organizations. Not only are we able to utilize this data to make more accurate decisions, we're also increasing our speed and adaptability to the global economy. Echo Atlantic is now proud to host the African Data Center. Digital transformation is positioned to disrupt the real estate industry as we know it today. We've looked today at how PropTech engages in infrastructure, construction, marketing, acquisitions, and financial inclusion. I'd like to conclude today by saying, to move forward, we have to collaborate across all platforms and industries to push the agenda of PropTech forward. Thank you very much.